Hello, I'm Stephanie from the Youth Services Department. On behalf of the Highland Park Public Library, we'd like to welcome you to Library in Your Living Room. Today, we're pleased to present That's Entertainment, Book Talk Edition. Thanks for joining me. All the books I'm presenting today are available on our website through Overdrive, which offers ebooks, e audio, kids' movies, and more. You can find information on accessing Overdrive at the very end of this presentation after the closing song. Our first book today, Belly Up by Stuart Gibbs, is available as an ebook on Overdrive. Something's Wrong in Fun Jungle, the huge Texas park that's a cross between an amusement park and a zoo. The problem started with the park's very profitable mascot, Henry the Hippo. When Teddy, the son of the park's primate specialist, discovers Henry dead in his pool, all the adults think Henry died from natural causes, not Teddy. He is sure it is a case of hippo murder. So he teams up with Summer. As the daughter of the owner, Summer can access all of Fun Jungle's behind the scenes spaces. As Teddy and Summer investigate the crime, they discover clues hinting at a dangerous conspiracy. But can they amass enough evidence to unravel it before Henry's ruthless killers come after them too? If you enjoy this mystery book, look for five other fun jungle books, which are also available on Overdrive. This next book, Woof by Spencer Quinn, is available as both an ebook and an e-audio book on Overdrive. When Birdie saw the dog at the pound, she was sure this was the dog she wanted to adopt. Her grandmother, well, she wasn't as sure. When Grammy reluctantly agreed to let Birdie have a dog, she was thinking of something small and manageable, which uh, certainly does not describe Bowser. That's what Birdie names the dog she talked her grandmother into letting her have. Just like Grammy suspected, Bowser is trouble and he eats a lot. Grammy is really worried about that last part because they don't have much money. As a matter of fact, Grammy may just lose the bait shop, their only source of income. Then Blackjack, the trophy marlin that's been on the shop wall for decades, disappears. Birdie thinks losing the dusty old trophy is no big deal until she learns some people think there's a treasure map hidden somewhere in or on that mounted fish. Her Grammy says, oh, that's just a legend. Don't pay attention to that. But what if it's true? That map could solve all their problems. Birdie decides to use Bowser to help recover the map. Now Bowser knows she'll need him. Like all humans, Birdie can hardly see or smell anything. Not even the alligator that's right by their boat that night that they're staking out the suspects on the bayou. Actually, gators are easy compared to the biggest danger, which are people who are willing to do anything to get their hands on that treasure. Can Bowser keep his girl safe and help her find the map before it's too late? Read Wolf. You can find other mysteries in the Bowser and Birdie series on Overdrive. This next book, The Worst Class Trip Ever by Dave Barry, is available as an ebook on Overdrive. Eighth graders Wyatt and his best man Frat Matt are psyched. They're going on a class trip to Washington, D.C. Of course, the class will be accompanied by teachers and a few parent chaperones. Right before they left, the kids were reminded to be on their best behavior as ambassadors representing Culver Middle School. In other words, don't get in trouble or you'll be sent home and suspended. They are just getting settled on the flight when the disturbance breaks out. A man sitting just in front of them does not want to put his backpack in the bin or under his seat. Throughout the flight, that man and his seatmate look at a laptop with satellite views, schematics, and other information about the White House. Now, see, who looks up technical information about the White House like that? Matt is convinced the men are planning to bomb or missile the White House to shreds. So as they're getting off the plane, Matt grabs one of the men's backpacks and runs. Riot and Matt race away, but they are stopped. 
And in the chaos with shouting teachers, the two men and airport security, no one notices that Matt has slipped something out of the backpack. Unfortunately, thanks to airport security, the men know their names and the number of the tour bus. And once those bad guys realize their gadget is missing, they're gonna come after Matt and Wyatt with a vengeance. Can the boys save themselves, the president and the world? If you enjoy this mystery thriller, look for Matt and Wyatt's second adventure, The Worst Night Ever, which is also available on Overdrive. Today's last ebook, The Curious Cat Spy Club by Linda Joy Singleton, is available as an ebook on Overdrive. Kelsey Case would like to be a detective, but she can't because nothing ever happens in her town until the day a uh, Zorse gallops towards her and a girl yells, stop that Zorse. So Kelsey does. Becca's relieved Kelsey caught the Zorse. It's from her family's animal rescue center. She'd be in big trouble if her mother knew that Zorse got away. Kelsey is surprised Becca even knows her name. They go to the same school, but they don't hang out together at all. Becca agrees to help Kelsey take the Zorse back to the animal sanctuary. They take it through the alley so the police don't see and tell her mother. As they walk down the alley, Kelsey hears faint cries coming from a dumpster. The girls try, but they can't lift the heavy lid up. So Becca goes for help and comes back with Leo, the class goof-off, who figures out how to lift the hempsey dumpster lid using a lever. He does pay attention in class. Inside, they find three adorable kittens. But what to do with three kittens? Kelsey's apartment building doesn't allow pets. Becca's mom has said there are absolutely no more room for any more animals at the sanctuary until something is adopted out. And Leo's parents, well, Leo's parents have never wanted any kind of animal in their house. So they sneak the kittens into the shed at the far back of the animal sanctuary where Becca's mother never goes, which is a start. But uh, they have some other problems, like how are they going to get the money to pay for cat food for the kittens? How can they keep the kittens hidden? And how can they find the rotten person that tried to kill the kittens by throwing them in that dumpster? If you enjoy this mystery, Look for the mystery of the Zorses mask on Overdrive. Thanks for joining us. Please check hplibrary.org for upcoming virtual programs where we bring library programs to you. And remember, when you're home and you've run out of books, think of us. We're the place you can look a click away. It's so easy and how? That's entertainment. <laughs> So remember now, don't have a cow, use entertainment. See you next time. Are you still there? Then you must want to know about how to find Overdrive on our website. Go to www.hplibrary.org. Hover over Books, Movies, More. Select Download and Stream from the Books, Movies, More section. Click on Overdrive. Click Sign In. Using the drop-down, select Highland Park Public Library. Type in your library card number, and you're in. If you need help downloading an ebook or e-audiobook, watch the how-to video on our website. Thanks for joining us for this edition of That's Entertainment, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.